Hey admins and project managers, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's find out how to deploy the fantastic Taiga Kanban solution in minutes with the help of Docker. The first thing we'll do is take care of installing all of the dependencies. To do that, log into your server and issue the command sudo apt get install docker.io git y. Once the installation completes, start and enable the Docker service with sudo system control start docker sudo system control enable docker. Next, we need to install docker compose, which can be done with the following two commands. sudo curl dash capital L, double quote, https colon slash slash, github.com slash docker slash compose slash releases slash download slash 2.1.1 slash docker dash compose dash dollar sign parentheses uname dash s parentheses, dash, dollar sign, parentheses, uname, dash, m, parentheses, double quote, dash, o, slash, user, slash, local, slash, bin, slash, docker, dash, compose, sudo, chmod, plus x, slash, user, slash, local, slash, bin, slash, docker, dash, compose. We now must add our user to the docker group with sudo, usermod, dash, a, capital G, docker, dollar sign, capital user. Log out and log back in so the changes will take effect. Clone the Taiga Docker repository with git clone, https colon slash slash, github.com slash k-a-l-e-i-d-o-s dash ventures slash taiga dash docker. Change into the newly created directory with cd taiga dash docker. Make sure to check out the stable branch with git checkout stable. Before we launch Taiga, we need to make a few configuration changes. This is much easier than it seems. Here's what you do. Open the docker compose file with nano docker-compose.yml. In that file, you're going to change every instance of localhost and taiga-back-secret-key. Change every instance of localhost to the IP address of your server and change every instance of taiga-back-secret-key to a strong, unique password. It's important that you change each instance to the same password. Save and close the file. Within the taiga-docker directory, there are two easy-to-use scripts. The first launches the service, so issue the command dot slash launch dash all dot sh. After the service launches, you can then create an admin user with the command dot slash taiga-manage dot sh. Create super user. You'll be prompted for a username, email address, and password for the admin user. After you've created the admin user, open a web browser and point it to http colon slash slash server colon 9000, where server is the IP address of your hosting server, and you'll be prompted for the new admin credentials. After successful authentication, you'll find yourself on the Taiga main window, where you can start working with your new Kanban solution. <laughs> If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.